The voters of Broward County voted to tax themselves for improvements to their schools across the district. Florida Tax Watch monitors the progress of the SMART program each quarter, and here's the latest Florida Tax Watch report. The SMART program is an acronym for safety, music and arts, athletics, renovations, and technology. The technology spend portion of the SMART program is complete. Uh, the district purchased uh, like more than 90,000 uh, computers, tablets, laptops, desktops, and things like that. Uh, the music uh, spend portion is completed. The district has purchased more than 60,000 uh, pieces of uh, musical equipment. Uh, they've purchased more than 135 kilns. The schools that have theater programs, uh, there's been funds set aside to upgrade those programs, and those are completed as well. Uh, weight room projects are completed, track uh, resourcing projects are completed. In our report, there were a handful of items that would fall into the category of pleasant surprise. Um, one was the, the number of projects that were flagged for delays uh, was significantly reduced. Um, before the schedule was reset in December of 2020, um, the district was averaging just under 200 delayed projects a quarter. Um, since the schedule is reset, um, that number's been around 40 flag projects. So uh, I think it affirms the wisdom uh, of the district in resetting the schedule, um, even though it will extend the completion date out into 2025. Uh, it's a much more realistic and manageable construction schedule. Also, there are 46 projects that were actually ahead of schedule, uh, so that's a good thing. Another pleasant surprise was the number of projects that were assigned either a medium or a high level of risk uh, diminished considerably. Um, the dis a year ago, the district started uh, assigning levels of risk based on the probability that the, the scope would, uh, would be changed or that there would be some design changes. Uh, and that number had steadily increased until last quarter, but then this quarter it, it dropped way down. So th that's a good sign. Um, another good sign is the school board finally uh, approved a policy authorizing the um, superintendent to approve change orders up to specified cumulative limits. Um, and that is uh, after uh, repeated recommendations by Florida Tax Watch. The uh, delays and the risk at the big three schools, um, Blanche Ely High School, um, Stranahan High School, and Northeast High School uh, were somewhat diminished this quarter as well. And then the final uh, pleasant surprise was the, the, the burn rate or the spend rate on, on the program. Tax Watch um, has been monitoring the rate at which the district is spending money. Uh, and in previous reports, we expressed concern that they may run out of money before October of, of 2025. Uh, we went back and, and used a different baseline in this report. And based on that, it looks like the, the money will go deeper into calendar year 25 than we had originally thought. There are still several challenges going forward. Um, the most significant of which is controlling the cost. Uh, the budget has uh, increased from an original budget of $987.4 million to about $1.53 billion. Um, making sure that the construction schedules are maintained and that the, the scopes of the projects are maintained is, is another challenge. Uh, Third challenge would be resetting the expectations of Broward taxpayers. Uh, again, um, understanding that th this program is going to take longer to finish and it's going to cost a lot more than originally planned. And then the final challenge is changing the perception that the district uh, is not a compelling place to do business. Mm -hmm.